Hi everyone, Hassam here from Bike Camp. Welcome back to the level 2 of our Villager Dungeon Nightmare Game series. In this episode, we'll be going over on adding our Villager into our level 2 scene, so then later on, we can create a whole cool dungeon -y world for it. Adding our Villager in level 2 is a lot similar to adding it to our level 1 game, so you're gonna notice that I'm gonna skip some steps, and if you don't understand how those steps work, make sure to watch that episode in level 1 so you get a more in-depth understanding on how to add our villager and how to attach a script and make it move left and right. So let's get right into it. So here I am on Godot in our level 2 scene and as you can see I've added a kinematic body to a D and I renamed it to villager and attached to our villager I have an animated sprite with all of our walking animations and I renamed the animation to walk and I also have a collision shape in the shape of a capsule and it covers all of the villagers body. It's also important to remember to lock all of your nodes using this button right here so then so that you can move around your villager and not have it get all messed up. First thing I want to do is I want to resize my villager because look how huge he is. So to do that, we go to the right side of our screen with villager clicked and we go to transform and we change the scale. For both X and Y, I'm gonna change it from one to 0 0.3. That looks more like it, perfect. And now we need to attach our script to it so that our villager can move left and right. Our script is gonna be a lot similar to the script in level one. So we're just gonna use the script in level one to copy and paste some of the code. As you guys know, to attach a script, we right click on our node and press attach script. Now it's important to know that our villager script needs to have a different name for level two and level one. So instead of naming it villager.gd, I'm gonna name it villager2.gd. That way the computer knows the difference between the two scripts. And I'm also gonna change our template from default to empty, create. And now we gotta go to our level one script to copy and paste the code. We can find the villager script for level one by going to scenes, clicking on level one, and there it is, right there. So I'm gonna copy and paste everything from var velocity up to move and slide velocity. So with it selected, I'm gonna right click, press copy, go to our level two villager and paste it. In level two, we don't have a bomb and we don't have a timer and we don't keep score of anything yet. So I can get rid of these three variables at the top. And our villager world in level two is gonna be huge. It's not gonna just be a simple square that our villager moves left and right to. It's gonna be a whole world that our villager can explore and jump around on. So we don't need these limits, or in other words, and position.x. We can just get rid of these and run our code. And look at that. Our villager can move left and right and it has the animations. Perfect. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed so you can keep up with all of our techie videos and so you can finish our Villager Dungeon Nightmare Game series. See you next time.